Hi, Berry Patch students. Hi, Mr. Sun. Today, we're going to talk about flowers. Flowers can be many different colors. First, I want to read a couple of books to you. The first book is called Plants in Spring. Sunshine and rain. It is spring. The days are longer. The sun feels warmer. Many plants sleep during the winter. They wake up again in spring. They grow again. It rains often in spring. Rain helps plants grow. Plants grow. New plants begin to sprout. Grass grows. Lawns turn green with thick grass. Rabbits eat the grass. Soon flowers bloom. Bees and other insects visit flowers. We plant seeds in gardens. Farmers plant their crops. Trees in spring. Leaves grow on trees. Pine trees grow new needles. Birds build nests in trees. Spring is here. Now I'm going to read another book. And this one is called Nature Walk Flowers. Remember how we went on a nature walk at school? Looking for flowers. Let's go on a nature walk. Do you see any flowers? Look for colorful petals. Petals are many colors. A tiger lily is orange. Look for stems. A stem takes water to the flower. Water helps flowers grow. Look for leaves. A leaf takes in sunlight. Sunlight helps flowers to grow. Look on trees. Orange blossoms are white. Blossoms grow first, then the fruit grows. Look on a bush. A wild rose is pink. It has thorns. Look for a butterfly. It drinks nectar from flowers. Look for a bee. It gathers pollen from flowers. Where do you see flowers? So you could go on a nature walk with your family and look for flowers, leaves, stems, insects. It's fun. Now I want you to take out your cupcake, paper, flower, crop. And I want you to get the green long piece of paper out first, okay? That's the first thing we're gonna work with. So you're gonna need scissors, just like these. And here we go. What I want you to do is there's a fold that I made in this paper, okay? You wanna keep that fold there, and I want you to cut this into graphs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut, and you're gonna stop right at the fold. Don't go all the way through the paper. So you just keep cutting all the way to the fold and do it all the way down the paper. Now maybe your mom and dad might have to help you hold the paper still. So see, we're making grass. What color is the grass? That's right. The grass is green because it's spring and the grass is turning green again. So, see, now you have your grass. So you're going to take your big blue paper and get your glue stick and put a lot of glue at the bottom, going all the way across. Then take your grass and you have to kind of push it down to make it flat again. So the fold's not so much of a fold anymore. 
and you're going to put it at the bottom. And see, now you have your, you can kind of squish your grass around too to make it look like real grass. Then you're going to take our stems, and I have two long ones and a short one. So I want you to put a long one over here on this side, and another long one over here on that side. And then the short one in the middle. Okay, you also have a bunch of cupcake holders. So you have two big ones and you have three little ones. So what you're gonna do is you're not going to use it like this, like we would put the cupcake in there, but you turn it over so you see the colored part. Now, I'm gonna put one of them, so you just gotta kinda squish it down with your hand like that, see? And it kinda flips over. So I'm gonna put one of the big ones on this side. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna choose one of the little ones to go inside of that big one. So I don't want it to be the same color, and everybody has different ones. I'm gonna put the purple one inside of that one. And then I'm going to take the other big one and put it on this side. We gotta flip it out, there we go. And then I think I'm gonna put the, this orange one in the middle of that. Now you're going to take this one small one and you're gonna put it right in the middle. Okay. So now you have three tiny little flower cutouts that look like that. So what you need to do is put glue in the middle of each flower and stick this in the middle. Kind of cute. Okay, now the last thing you're going to do is put the leaves on there. And now you have three cute flowers that you can hang up on your refrigerator or wherever you're putting all your arts and crafts. I hope you enjoyed making your flower craft today. I thought it was kind of fun. Make sure you send me a picture and I'll see you next time.